There'll be many Thomas fans very familiar with the Tommy Big Loader playset. These days, it's a collectible and holds its resale value well. On eBay, it commands a large price if it's still in mint condition. But be warned, there's a dark side knockoff toy, which could easily be mistaken for the licensed Thomas and Friends toy. Be very careful when purchasing these styles of toys online, as you will see, this clone toy has some major faults. Let's take a dive into the box. Everything is tightly packed and the characters are wrapped in plastic. There's those elusive balls that everyone seems to lose and some spare traction tires. I'm curious to see how good the power truck is. It's such an important piece with this set. I can see a bunch of decals to it here and some very well detailed instructions. Normally knockoff toys don't come with what seems like very carefully laid out instructions. Let's study a real Tommy set against the knockoff. Initially I didn't notice any real difference in performance, but after a closer inspection and some more playtime, the nasty dark side started to be seen in the knockoff toy. This style of playset is unusual because it's what I class as a Guinness toy. It's more a stand back and watch versus interactive play. It's a toy which can literally cast a spell over you as you watch its highly repetitive activity. On a cosmetic appraisal there are quite a number of differences between these two sets. The parts on the clone seem struck from the same mould as the Tommy brand. For some reason Terence is missing in action on the clone toy for reasons I don't understand. The power units do look identical on the outside but believe me once we dig around inside you'll find there's a world of difference. Now let's look at the real toy doing its rounds and sure Terence does pull out or the balls are spilt but overall it's a smooth operator and a very reliable runner. There's some very distinctive mechanical sounds with this toy which provide an unusual soundtrack. In its non-Thomas format, this toy has a heritage going back to the 1970s. There are loads of web pages devoted to this toy in its various formats. And now let's examine the fake toy and here all I need you to do is watch this video and you will see the dark side of this Cobby product be revealed. It's pretty obvious there are two problem areas, one is the bulldozer exchange and the other one is where Percy picks up the balls. I'm going to change one item over, I'm going to put a real McCoy Tommy power plant. So let's see if this makes any changes to the way this fake set operates. So with this one little change, all of a sudden this fake toy starts to perform as good as the real one. And surely this has us all asking what's different about those little power plants, which is so important on this set. The absolute key component to this toy is this power truck, which does all the work around this set. Now here's the Tommy one. You can tell when it's a real one, you could look underneath and it'll have a, the brand of Tommy. This one says 1977 Tommy Thailand. This real Tommy one has a metal switch for on and off. If I turn it on, I want you to see a few things here. Put a bit of resistance against stuff. Now, this cog here, let's come in with this. Put a bit of resistance to this cog. Notice that that cog keeps driving. This is a very important cog on this toy. 
as it assists at doing those tasks like picking up the balls and raising up the bulldozer. Here's a closer look at this very important cog on this little toy. The other really important aspect are these traction wheels which really help this toy do the tasks that it has to do on the track. The other really important part to this toy is this direction changer here and there are lugs set up on the track which trigger this and send the vehicle off in another direction. The other very interesting thing is this toy is powered by a single AA battery. If I'm going to come in and do an appraisal of the fake one and point out to you why it is fake even though it looks just the same as a real Tommy one, I think the first thing to look out for is the lack of licensing info. All I see it says is made in China. The switch is different. It's a little black plastic switch. And I think the most worrying aspect of all is when I turn it on. I just spoke about how important this cog is here. Just notice one thing about it. It's stationary, it's not driving. Here's a section of track where Percy will come along and pick up the balls and I'll show you where that little cog keys into the track. There's the corner of the track and here's the part where the gears would key into to help Percy around the ball pickup area. And looking very closely now, you can see where it all keys together. And of course it's only useful if it's actually engaged. I think, in the essence, this is a nutshell of why these things are a complete and utter waste of time. I'm going to open up both of these, let's have a look inside what's going on. There's that screwdriver shot that everyone seems to love. Well, here we are looking inside. And uh, I can see the problem straight away, actually. And I think this highlights the problem with these knockoff toys. Let's have a closer look. Well, here I am looking at the real Tommy toy, and I think the first thing I notice is these gears and the way they mesh together. This little gear here is powering this one up here. But also take a note, there's a, a brass bearing of sorts on this side. Let's have a look over the other side. Well, here I am looking at the knockoff toy. If I spin this round, can you see what's missing? should be gear in there linking up to this gear there's nothing not only that the bearing the brass bearing that's on the other toy there's not one here it's just riding on plastic it's weird the hole is there for it it just hasn't been put in and I went back and looked at the plastic bag and I couldn't see it floating around so it's totally missing in action so with this cog missing it leaves attraction tires doing all the hard work on the tricky bits of this playset possibly the best fate for this faker is to use it as spare parts if I need it in the real Tommy toy. Buy cheap, buy twice. Let's examine Thomas and Percy. You're gonna need a keen eye to spot the differences here. The Faker has some eyes which are very strange. The blue plastic is a different shade on the Faker. On the Tommy Thomas, there's printed decals for details. The Faker has printed details, but there is still some stickers found on the model. Watch have a good look at the real face versus the Faker. Somebody's been using Botox. When examining inside the toy, the Tommy toy has licensing info, the Faker has none. Percy seems to be struck with the same differences as Thomas, and I will admit considering these are fake toys, this aspect of this toy seems very well made. I feel the similarity between the two outweighs the differences. When looking at the track that these toys use, it's really difficult to tell the real from the fake. The only indicator is the different colour in plastic. Again, possibly the best use for this fake toy is grab it for spare parts if you're missing parts from the real McCoy toy. Let's have some fun and set up a little challenge with a tug of war. Real Thomas wins round one, now round two. Again, Real Thomas wins. What a champion. Hopefully I have shown to you the perils of knockoff toys. In no way can I endorse these styles of toys. Amazingly, this knockoff only cost me $25 at a well-known market in the city where I live. And I know this is a fraction of the price of trying to obtain a real Tommy set online. A very big thank you to the mum at my daughter's school who supplied me with the Real Thomas Big Loader set. If you're a Thomas collector, it's a must-have item. Seeing how clever these knockoffs are packaged, it has me wondering how many people purchase this set online and end up receiving a knockoff toy. Do you know of this occurring? You know, I've got a hunch there would be many people out there who've possibly received a knockoff toy and haven't even realized it. 
or there are people who have received this toy and had the peril of trying to take a toy away from a child if they've realised it's not the real licensed product they've paid for. Often the hassle of returning a good outweighs the peace and quiet of just leaving it in the house. And this is exactly what crooked online vendors are banking on. It's a style of crime which is on the increase while people are hunting around for a bargain. In the shape of Dark Side to Come, I will examine the knockoff big, big loader set versus the licensed Tommy product. Who knows what nasties I will find lurking inside the knockoff toy this time. I've also made a separate video to help you repair the drive units in these toys. I certainly needed to do some essential repairs to the old Tommy power units before this video was produced. As always, thank you for your time, and here's the of track where Percy picks up the balls and we'll I'll show you why blah 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 and I've got it wrong. Maybe up at the end of the video.